you know, it was cool, man. You know, college for me was like, I'm a driven person. So during school, all I was worried about was like school. So I can't say I was like on campus party dude or even active in activity. I just wanted my degree. Yeah. And you you got your degree in English. What was the plan like from the start? And then did it change at some point, or or uh, was it English all the way? What what was your what was your plan? So the plan was to get an English degree because I figured if I had an English degree, I can get a job somewhere. At the time, that's what made sense. It just sounded like if you have an English degree, you can work. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I didn't have like plans to do like traditionally like what people do with an English degree, like teach. That wasn't really, you know, in my future as far as I was concerned. You know, I was just into writing and just into accomplishing something. So mm -hmm. got that uh, degree, but then yeah, plans changed. And, and did you always know that you were you were funny? Like, were you the class clown and and uh, kind of always lean lean that way? You know, I, I'm. I wasn't a in front of the light type dude. I was just a hang with close peeps, be funny around them, and people would say, "Oh man, you funny," but you know you don't think it like that. You just like, yeah, oh, you know, you just joking. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, what it is, man, is just like I found in myself that there's something very funny about myself that others see, and I learned that in a college speech class. Hmm. And for, you know, I had the the speech one on one. You got to take one of the requirements for getting an English degree. And I'm in front of the class giving my speech, and before I even open up about what I'm about to say, they're already laughing and anticipating funny, you know. And I didn't think my content was funny, you know. But then when you look back, some of my speech topics were a little, you know, obscure. Like I had how to make a whopper, you know. <laughs> I used to, that was my first job, Burger King, you know. And, uh, I had uh, my trip to the zoo. I wrote a speech about my trip to the zoo. Nice. And, uh, you know, I, so, I guess, um, you know, people were anticipating funny, so my instructor was like, uh, why don't you consider going to a comedy club and just seeing how it goes for you? And I went, I had to experiment, uh, the experience, I mean, and uh, it was horrible. It was probably the worst experience I've ever heard. I've had had a worse experience doing stand up since my first time. Nothing has topped the peak of how terrible that was. Right. That's why I hate when people go up and talk about how they killed their first time on stage. What happened is a lot of people drank and they don't really recall the events specifically <laughs> that really went down. Nobody killed their first time. Even if yeah. all their friends were there. They didn't kill. It's just the people they knew laughed at him because they were like, oh, he's really doing it. You didn't destroy. Like, you don't destroy until you're like 20 years in. Maybe when you're 10 years in, you get little specks of like greatness. Like, oh, yeah, they went cool. But mm -hmm. I don't think no one's killing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And, and I know you've done um, like some acting. You were on The Office. Is that something that, that is definitely a, a career option, or are you totally focused on, on stand-up? What's, what's kind of the balance that you strike there? Right. Well, I love acting, and right now I'm currently trying to sell my own TV show. But along with that, that was the joy that I got from English. I've always liked writing, so now I'm writing shows too. So I have like five shows that I've just written like character descriptions, pilot episodes. One of them I shot, and that's the main one I'm trying to sell right now, but I enjoy the acting experience. But what I'm finding, too, is I came this far in stand-up. I can't just stop stand-up to go into acting if I, you know, enjoy it, because then I just wasted all this time in stand-up. It's like, what's the purpose of trying to fine-tune a craft and get it where you want to just so you could jump off the boat and do something else. I think I have to do something with stand-up, something that I'm proud of, and then I can go do all that other mess, you know? Uh -huh. It's hard to be great at more than one thing. I don't know how possible it is. You know, you, you, you strive to get 10,000 hours 
in one thing and become immaculate and then all these other things you want to be good at too but I don't know it's hard for me to balance you know the way I want to and then I got family and you know it's like I love family and it's like man I don't I don't get it I don't get life what's what's joke writing like for you well what what I found out is it, this is my job so you know People that want to be successful at work put in a bunch of hours. Yeah. You know, and on average, people work eight-hour days. So I just keep a journal, and I'm like a pen and paper dude. So I just write daily. I don't take a day off from writing. Mm -hmm. And I experiment every time I perform. Every time I try, you're hearing something new, and I'm trying new stuff. Because I know where I'm trying to get. Mm -hmm. So... I just got to find out how to get to where I'm trying to get. And in that process, you know, people enjoy it. That's, that's a bonus, you know. Yeah. And do you have, like, a, a mentor or, or uh, you know, even someone who you, you just look up to in the comedy world? What I need is a mentor. <laughs> I what happens, and, man, I could be totally off on this. But as far as, like, uh, tenured comics, mature comics, you know, it's like, I feel like maybe they see me and, and say, oh, he's fine, you know? But it's like, I feel like the kid without a dad is just hustling hard and getting it because I'm getting levels of success, and it's great. But it would be nice if there was, like, someone that I could talk to. What I find is, the, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. So many comics come to me, and I'm glad to, you know, like, whatever I can lend or whatever I can tell you in. I feel like I've learned a lot, but it's always like, and me too, <laughs> like like I said, the kid without a dad. Like I, I got questions right now. I got moves I'm making that I've never experienced, like pitching TV shows, what networks to go to, what approaches to do. And these are things I don't know, and I'm really just figuring it out along the way. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mike. Good deal. Hey, thank you, Ty. Keep in touch. Yeah, you want to throw out your, your website or anything? Where can oh, people yeah, find definitely. You? So uh, it's easy to find, MikeWinfield.com. Uh, that'll lead you everywhere, whether you're on Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram, which is I'm having the most fun with Instagram lately. So. Cool. Yeah, yeah, keep in touch. All right, Mike. Thanks so much. Got it.